What's up guys, Angelo here. So we are starting a brand new series here on my channel. We're calling it, uh, that one time. Yeah, that's what we're calling it. We're calling it that one time. All right, so basically what this is gonna be is sort of like a little bit of a, like a story time kind of thing. And uh, what we're gonna be telling is basically stories about that one time. So I remember this like it was yesterday. I remember going to play hockey, you know, everything was going good. It was just a little pickup game. There was a couple guys there that really couldn't play very well. And this one guy, he was kind of just literally all over the freaking ice. And well, he kind of collided with me, fell on top of my leg. And before you knew it, I needed uh, a couple of these. Hang on. So I basically ended up having to use crutches for like a month. I don't remember exactly how long it was. I, I actually broke an, a bone in my ankle and it totally sucked because uh, at the end of the month I had plans to go to Nova Scotia. Luckily I was healed and got the cast off right before I ended up going to Nova Scotia. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty, pretty funny time, you know, me hobbling around on crutches all day long, trying to get from point A to point B, trying to get to work, trying to do, you know, my job basically with the cast on on crutches and, and it's a little bit difficult because at the time I was on my own in the shop here and uh, yeah I mean I didn't really have much assistance to, to really help me get my work done obviously but I do remember the the funniest part about that story was that Pokemon Go had literally just come out maybe about two weeks prior to that and I mean I was I was just dying to play so all my friends would go out I'd go hang out with them obviously I'm still in the cast on the crutches and somebody yells out Snorlax you just see everybody running literally up the street and just me trying to go as quickly as possible on my crutches you know come on let's do this and then finally my buddy's like here just give me your fucking phone I'll go and get the Snorlax for you and and he did I, I got the Snorlax I was pretty excited so yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a pretty athletic guy, so for me to be off my feet for like, I don't know, three, four weeks, yeah, that, that kind of hurt. And, and the most annoying part about the whole thing is that every time somebody sees you, you know, approaching them and, and you're in a cast and you haven't seen them in a little while and they didn't know that anything happened, they're constantly asking you, oh my god, what happened? And you'd have to explain the freaking same story like 40 billion times to, to all these different people one by one. I, I have to say, breaking a bone really sucks. Um, I, realistically, if I had the option to either break my hand or my leg or my arm, whatever, I would definitely say my hand or my arm because at least you could still sort of function and do things and, and get around at a regular speed. Honestly, dude, breaking your freaking leg, that, that really sucks. You're, you're mobile for, for a while, really. I mean, I was so lucky at the time that I didn't have a manual car, so realistically, if, if that happened and I had a manual car at the time, I was going absolutely nowhere. I would have literally just had to stay home for an entire month. I do have to say I was uh, relatively fortunate. Sorry for the, the noise in the background. I just turned the AC on because it's really, really hot in here and I'm starting to sweat and uh, it's, it's kind of gross. But uh, yeah, I have to say I was really fortunate that I, uh, I healed relatively quickly. I had one of those, actually two short leg casts and after a few weeks I was able to put some weight on it. I had like one of those booty things, sandal things on the bottom of the cast and I was just basically able to walk almost normally just at a little bit of a slower pace. Other bones that I've broken, I've actually broken this wrist twice, pretty much almost exactly the same way. I got tripped, I remember, I can't remember the second time how I did it, but the first time I remember uh, playing soccer, I was playing indoor because it was winter time, and I got tripped by this one asshole, and I basically landed right on my wrist, all the pressure, like literally right here, and there's a little bone inside of your wrist, like right about here somewhere, that ended up fracturing and yeah I was uh, had a cast uh, that they had it like on the thumb part and it was like up to here it wasn't too long it went like down to here I had that on for like maybe four or five weeks I think and and that was pretty much it I mean I was at least at that point I was still able to, to play soccer I couldn't play hockey because I can't fit my freaking glove over the cast but I was still able to play soccer and and do most of the same normal things so that was cool but um, yeah, that's my uh, 
broken leg and my guess my broken arm story. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we'll definitely be doing a few more of these. I have several stories already kind of planned out and we'll be getting to them shortly. So smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I post the next video about that one time. And uh, thanks guys, we'll see you later.